friends, this is Fire on Pop, and I have another in my uh, series of uh, armed citizen stories. And this tonight's story is coming right out of Concealed Carry magazine. This is the uh, October 2012 issue, and uh, right on the uh, let's see here, a few pages in, we get to what they call true stories. Anyway, without further ado, let's get right to the stories. A paralyzed Ohio man shoots home invader. A 33-year-old Johnstown man awoke on his living room couch early one morning to an intruder prodding him in the head with the barrel of a shotgun and demanding to know where the other guns were. When the intruder turned to investigate where the homeowner told him to look, the homeowner took up a loaded 357 Magnum revolver he always keeps within arm's reach and fired three shots, killing the intruder. Police cited Ohio's Castle Doctrine in saying the homeowner will likely not be charged, though the case will be presented to the county prosecutors for review. Georgia Good Samaritan stops career criminals attack. Seeing a man and woman struggling over a purse, a 61-year-old Athens man paused to look closer. When the man uh, punched the woman in the face, the senior citizen took up his legally owned pistol and confronted the man, ordering him to stop his assault. The mugger fled on foot, only to be apprehended by the police five hour, uh, after a five-hour manhunt. Only after talking with the police did the rescuer learn that the mugger was armed with a pistol that he had uh, previously stolen from his victim's SUV. A, criminal, a career criminal with a record dating to 1972, the mugger had been released from prison in early June. He now faces several felony charges stemming from this incident. Michigan senior citizen shoots young home invader. This issue seems to be all about senior citizens, so uh, makes me happy. This is a 73-year-old Detroit resident who heard strange noises downstairs in his home. Having been the victim of an attempted robbery a week before, the homeowner took up his two-shot Derringer for protection and went to investigate. One shot to the chest was all that was needed to stop the unidentified man in the living room who had kicked in his front door. The intruder had staggered out the front door and died in the neighbor's driveway. Police are continuing their investigation of the incident. The homeowner is not expected to face charges. Georgia Tech student foils early morning burglary. At 5.30 a.m., a residential burglary was foiled when a Georgia Tech grad student, hearing glass breaking in the home he shared with three other students, took up his handgun to investigate the noise. He encountered a 22-year-old intruder who had also burglarized a nearby home. Fearing for his life, he shot the burglar once in the chest. The burglar will face criminal charges on his release from the hospital. The grad student is not expected to face prosecution. Michigan robber takes fight, knife to gunfight with a 66-year-old woman. A 66-year-old Detroit woman was saying her nightly prayers when she heard noises at the back of her home. On checking the noise, she found a tall young man who demanded money and held her at knife point. If detecting the intruder to after directing the intruder to her bedroom, where she kept some money, she thought of her pistol her son had recently bought her. She discreetly took up the cased gun while the robber was distracted counting her money. Then asked if she could go to the bathroom. When the robber agreed, she entered the bathroom, uncased the loaded pistol, and then re-entered the bedroom and shot the intruder twice. The robber will face felony charges after his release from the hospital, the homeowner will not face any charges. Kentucky homeowner shoots at teen burglars to stop home invasion. While, <clears throat> while taking an afternoon shower, a Louisville man heard a commotion outside his house. Retrieving a pistol, he went to investigate and found three young men trying to break into his home. He fired on the burglars, who wo wounding a 16-year-old male and putting all to flight. The juvenile was treated for non-life-threatening injuries. The homeowner will not face charges. 
love to hear it. Uh, the senior citizens are the target uh, of uh, these felons, and uh, uh, it's heartening to uh, to hear. It's it's heartwarming to hear that uh, they are acting, taking up arms, and acting to protect themselves. Hope you enjoyed these stories. This is Fire on Pop. Be safe out there, and God bless. Bye now.